my, my brother's a rapper. And my other brother lives in a van that he put an address on. So my mother's very concerned about me. My mother, she thinks I'm gonna repeat all of the mistakes that she made. But what my mom doesn't seem to understand is that the alcoholic I'm dating has a job. I'm dating an actor, anyone? I'm sorry. You can always tell an actor by the glazed look in their eyes when someone else is talking. Um, do you guys have babies? No? I know, why would you have a baby? Gross. I mean, I could see getting pregnant, but following through with it? I would maybe have a baby for practical reasons, like if I were trying to stop doing cocaine. <laughs> baby. Why would you have a baby? Have you ever noticed that your ugliest friend is the most afraid of getting raped? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Think you're gonna be all right. <laughs> it's a little mean, right? Okay. I just heard of this. Uh, I just heard of this adopt a soldier program. Have you heard of this? It's like you for a very for a very small amount of money each month you can transform a soldier's life. It's a really positive experience and I really wanna do it. It's just, um, you can't love a soldier until you learn how to love yourself. So, I don't think I can do that. You liked it better when I was talking about rape, huh? Um, can't believe I mystic tanned for this. I, um, I went, I, well, actually it was for a Rite Aid callback. But um, do you think it's bad if your emotional memory to cry at a commercial audition is the fact that you're there? <laughs> but I had to go get tan, right? And so I've never done it before, so I went to the, I went to the place and I was like, you know, do you have any, do you, what do you suggest? I've never gone tanning before. And the woman said, oh, well, you could do the Orbi bit, but, um. <laughs> It's got a lot of Bernie rays. And I was like, well, I don't want to get burned. Do you have another suggestion? And she said, oh, you could split it up. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know what? She's like, personally, I like to do the whole session, but um, you could split it up. I was like, really, do you think I could split it up? She was like, yeah, you could split it all. <laughs> the, the moral of that story is don't assume everyone speaks your idiot language. <laughs> what was she talking about? Um, male comics are always coming up to me and they're like, hey Natasha, don't you think you're a little attractive to be a comedian? And I'm like, don't you think you're a little ugly to be talking to me? <laughs> Okay, thank you, I'm Natasha. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, uh, I'm supposed to do a joke. Um, what, what do you feed a gay horse? Hey! <laughs> Not as good as the rape joke, but okay, thanks.